In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust, or better yet, disable auto exposure or eye adaptation that happens by default in UE5. So what this means is when you first create your scene and you have some lights inserted, when you go from uh, a bright environment into a dark environment and vice versa, auto exposure takes over and adjusts lighting for you. So here I am outside and if I walk into this darker environment, automatically it will begin to adapt or auto expose and adjust the lighting in order to see the inside of the darker hallway or a darker environment. And then when I leave, it will automatically expose for the outside and it will adjust itself. So by default in UE5, this happens automatically unless you control it or disable it. So this eye adaptation, this auto exposure is naturally how your eyes adjust when you walk from a darker environment into a brighter environment and from brighter environment into darker environment. It takes a few seconds for your eyes to adjust. And that's what UE5 is trying to replicate. But it could be quite annoying when you are creating an environment and then you go from one room to another you're creating and it just auto exposes things for you. So let me show you how to disable it or how to control it if you choose to do so. What you need is a post process volume. So if you go to this drop down menu, icon with a plus on it, left click on it and then go to visual effects and insert a post process volume. This will give you a volume inside your level, inside your map. You can place it anywhere you want because we're going to make this universal so it applies to the entire scene. So with it selected, go into the details panel and you want to uh, scroll down until you find exposure and you want to enable two properties minimum and maximum brightness. These two values is what controls that fade in and fade out auto exposure effect. So to disable it and completely remove it from your, from your environment, change both of them to one. This will disable it. So you no longer will see the eye adaptation take effect. However, it's not gonna work. It will still do what it needs to do because we have not set this volume universal. It will only work if you're inside this volume. So what we need to do is uh, select the volume again and scroll all the way down until you found a section, post process volume settings and enable infinite extent unbound. This way the post process volume will be universal. It will apply to the entire scene and you don't have to be inside this volume for it to take effect. And actually for a quicker way, what you would do is you can search for those values. So for the brightness, you just search for brightness. So that way you can just enable them both, switch it to one. And for unbound, just search for unbound and you would enable it. So only three values need to be changed. And now if I go ahead and go into this hallway, into this kind of little tunnel, it will not adjust itself. And then when I leave, the exposure values will be the same and nothing changes. Now, sometimes you may need to adjust it. Depending on the environment, you may tweak a little bit of those values. So if you want to do that, you just go back to brightness values, the brightness controls, and then you just change them and then see what it, uh, what it looks like inside the level and how it adjusts itself. So you can change it to whatever you want, but to disable it and not have it take effect, just change it to one. And now you have a little bit more control over your lighting inside your scene. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.